What's up, YouTube? Enrico Suave. He's here somewhere. Just got back from work and uh, found this little box here. Once again, another little box. And I'm kind of, I just want to show you guys because it's going to be pretty, of course. It's always something. Yeah. So I got this from Phenom in, in England somewhere. So yeah, in Birmingham, Birmingham, UK. So this literally got to me in four days. I don't know how in the heck this thing got to me in four days. I can't order something right down the street from me and get it in four days. Um, as a matter of fact, I ordered something from Mexico last week and it still isn't here. It'll be here though. But I just wanted to show you guys because, um, yeah, this is something a little bit exciting to me, anyways. All right. So, right off the bat, we got a little piece of foam here. I don't know what kind of foam that is. All right. So, ordered this stuff. Had to order it from Phenom because I couldn't find it in the color I wanted it. So, um, and the size, it has to be the size and the color. So, right off the bat, got me the uh, all blue. And actually, I'm really happy that this color blue is super nice. This is going to be a quick one, guys. So, I know nobody's on here right now. That's fine. It'll be posted. This one's a little different. Okay, so, there it is. Um, this one has gotten very high reviews and it's it's actually pretty nice it's got uh like a suede leather on the inside or something um the cheeks and everything is like a smooth leather but supposedly they said it's grippy so and it does feel different it does feel different it's almost a, it is a little grippy but on the forehead it's like a suede so it's i guess meant to catch the the um, sweat. What the heck is that? That was a little spider. But I had to get the L, the size large. Um, make sure this fits my head. I'll put it on. I don't think it'll fit it like this. Oh, it might. Oh, yeah. There it goes. There we go. I mean, it feels good. It feels good. You know, let me see. Yeah, this looks like I could still get my nose fucked up here. But, you know, there it is. Phenom headgear. Hopefully test this thing out as soon as I can get some sparring going. Um, There we go. I don't know. My vision isn't the best with this, but... It's never that good with these because these cheek these cheeks. I already have big cheeks. Sorry, I already have big cheeks, and it doesn't help that the cheeks poke out, you know, more. So, you know, and then you gotta have your chin down, so you gotta kind of have that up, and then I have to like push my cheeks in so that this will kind of go right here. So, looking down. This is kind of how it is. It's like this. Boom. All right. So I uh, went ahead and got this. Got high praises from most of the, the uh, reviewers, C Squared and Fit to Box. Fit to Box has this as the top number one headgear. You know what I mean? Oh, this guy again, he wants to buy it. Hey, man, I actually am going to sell like a lot of stuff. Uh, I. I I was looking at what I have and what's coming, and um, decisions need to be made. So, yeah, for sure, that's going to happen. Um, I wanted to get this color of this headgear and this size. So there it is. Supposedly the number one headgear that most people like. Carlo likes it. C um, Fit to Box likes it. Uh, Simon. And I don't know that anyone else has reviewed it, but I think it's pretty cool. 
anyway, something else here. Y yeah, <laughs> surely I'm running out of room. Actually, it, it's, I mean, I could keep it all, but am I going to use all that stuff? So there's obviously you, I have a bunch of stuff and then I'm, I'm only looking for the best shit. So that's literally the whole point of all this is to get the best shit. Um, I like having the best shit. That's what I'm doing. So that being said, I did go ahead and pick these up and these are fucking cool, man. So had a lot of reviews done on these, but not these exact ones. So these are the Phenom bag gloves, right? With the with the uh, XRD protection. It's kind of like Rivals, but these are the double. Yeah, these are size double XL. So these are bigger than those ones. And another thing about these that's totally different than any other reviewers done on these Phenom gloves, they're lace. Nobody else has reviewed the lace uh, double XL, first of all, and then lace. So the reason um, a Guerrero, those uh, Guerrero gloves with the uh, with the IntelliShock, I, I actually bought some. I posted on Instagram. I just got those newer ones. Uh, they're like Comic Hero style ones, the newest ones they came out with. I bought some, and then I tried them on, and there no way in hell I could wear those. You know, not even with, with hand wraps for sure not going to happen. But, um, you know, basically I was not going to be able to wear those. And these ones still fit pretty snug, to be honest. Like, those are still small. They fit kind of like those 10 ounces fit, the 10 ounce XLs. So these usually come in a large and uh, a, a large, a large medium and a small medium or something. There's two different sizes. And then now they have the double XL and it's in lace, which makes it way better. Um, I don't like Velcro, man. I don't like Velcro. And I did not, I, I really don't like the way, I didn't like the way that the Guerreros with the IntelliShock had that little Velcro thing. Um, you know, it's supposed to be tighter, but you know what would be better? If you just put some damn cheap ass laces on it, that would just be better to me. And so Phenom did that. They have now have this in lace. This is a double XL for people with bigger hands and it fits me pretty much perfectly. Exactly what I was uh, hoping for. And this I can compare with the RB10s because I do have the RB10s or I think the RB, are they the RB10s or... I think they're RB10s. They're the ones with that have like one side and then it's like one line of D3O and then like another little diamond side. Uh, it's all, you know, kind of gimmicky, but um, I got those ones. I got those ones. I got the Guerrero IntelliShock ones. These ones, uh, the other Rival ones I got are the ones I kept. I actually sent the other ones back to Rival. I was like, I don't want these. They don't fit my hands. I can't, I can't do nothing with them. So for that reason, I sent them back. And then for these, I saw these and I was like, you know what I do want, especially when they, I saw that they had lace. So they got lace, double XL. I'm not sure how much these weigh, but I can weigh them and I'll post it on my Instagram. If you guys want to uh, hit me up on Instagram, Enrico Tecker. So like this one, I believe is en Enrico Suave. That one's N-R-I-C-O-T-E-C-H-E-R. Just hit me up on um, Instagram. So, yeah, this one, uh, this is pretty much neck and neck with with the Guerreros. Uh, or, uh, yeah, you know, they get compared to the Guerreros a lot. Hello, Macy. Marcy. What? Mercy? Yeah, hello. So, yeah. Um, these ones... Yeah, they have the knuckle here. This is a six millimeter X. This is XRD protection. There's a video on this XRD stuff where the guy's like dropping uh, ball bearings on it. And uh, so, the, yeah, I mean, it looks good. It's a competitor uh, for the IntelliShock. So uh, IntelliShock has three millimeter thick um, protection on it. And this one has six millimeters so and it also goes down the knuckle more farther down than the than the 
D3O ones do. As far as the RB10s, though, the RB10s are sick. Like, I, I actually really like those gloves, and they are Velcro. And the, the one thing I hate about them, and I'll tell you, I, I do like them as a whole. One thing I hate is they have mesh. This whole inside is mesh. Mesh is junk. Uh, it gets caught on the, oh, man. It gets caught on the Velcro. It tears it up. Looks like shit. It is comfortable. I'll give you that. It is comfortable. And I think that's why they use it. But it's cheap. It's, you know, it's cheap fucking garbage, dude. It's it's just, I don't know. I don't think those belong on gloves. I don't like that. It's supposed to be breathable. I don't give a shit. I want leather. And those are $200 gloves. So, um, do I prefer the gel foams? No. No. Mm -mm. I do not like gel foams. But, but... I don't know about this. This is like different than gel. It's supposed to solidify when you when you when it impacts. I can't really can't really feel it there, but yeah, I don't know. But I mean, I have to try them on the bag. The RB tens are dope. They they actually are very nice on the bag. These are super comfortable for being leather. They don't feel like leather when you put your hands on the inside of it because they have so much like like a cottony nice liner, which I'm not a fan of cotton liners. I'm not a fan of this style of liner, but they did it in a way that makes it so comfortable. It just like hugs your hand and it's very nice. Um, I can't wait to, to, to use these. Actually, I'm going to go today to the gym um, later. I just, you know, like I just got home from work right now. So I got to, you know, get ready to go to the gym. And I'm probably going to take these with me. And I mean, I like to lace them a certain way, so I don't know if I can get the laces done. And then uh, take them in and use them on the bag. But yeah, these I'm, I'm, I like these a lot. So I got these. They got the lace, like I said. They're all leather on the inside. And double XL, which I don't think anybody has reviewed these yet. And I'm excited to do it. So first review, I think, is going to be going down. All right. Uh, yeah, man, for sure. I'm going to do it. Yeah, because a lot of the times, uh, you know, C-Square does great reviews, and so does uh, fit to box uh, Jordan Miller, I found him just through watching a bunch of review videos, and he does a freaking awesome job. There's other people that do good jobs as well. Um, I wish I had a better camera and better lighting, but, um, you know, I do what I can do and uh, just – uh, provide what I think the, the things I think are different than what they think. So, you know, like they like different things. They have smaller hands. Um, no, I need freaking sparring partners. That's why I went to the gym. That's why I joined the gym and come to find out this gym is just, there's not much sparring there. There's just a lot of beginners. Um, these guys that were in their training, I was already like, kind of excited because they were, you know, there's some athletic guys in there. And then uh, I watched them spar and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? And uh, I come to find out that what that they, they, that was their first time sparring. And I was like, damn, bro. Like, you know, cause I was telling them they're like stiff, like, like scared to get hit and scared to throw punches. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? You got to loosen up. You know what I mean? What are you doing right now? And they're just like, oh, this is my first time sparring. I'm like, you know, here I am waiting to spar these guys, and now I'm like, uh, I don't even know if I want to spar them because it's just going to be, you know, I'm just going to have to basically dull myself down to give them some work, something to something to work for. I'm not going to be able to actually put the heat on these kids, you know what I mean? So, you know, sad, but, you know, I'm just going to move on. Once I'm done, once this gym's, uh, I, I paid them for a month already. <sighs> I like the gym, but I like the guy. I like I like the coach. I like the, I like everything except there's just not enough people there, so it kind of sucks, man. You're in East. Oh, you're in East Texas, though. I'm in East Dallas, so I'm like North Texas. We're not even like I, I don't know. Some guy was trying to explain to me that we're not actually North Texas or something. I'm like, but well, we are in the north end of Texas, so how are we not North Texas? I don't know, man. Texans got a weird territory thing going on here. <laughs> it make no damn sense to me. I thought this was North Texas. But I'm in East Dallas, so 
you know, I'll find a gym. We'll, we'll find some people. You know, you just got to, I, I believe in going local. So you got to find people local to you. Um, but anyways, that's it for today. Got the headgear, hopefully. I, and I've been taking headgear every time, just in case. Just in case somebody pops in the gym. i never seen them before. Maybe they just weren't there that week or that couple weeks or whatever. And they're like, you know, whatever. So I'll take this one. And um, we'll just see what we can get down, what we can do, man. You can travel to Dallas. Damn, bro. Really? Well, shit, man. You know, I'm not going to turn it down because I'm just like, I just don't get to spar anymore. It's kind of sad. But I do want to. So, I mean, we'll see, man. We'll see if, if I can get my damn fix around here of some sparring. But that's it for right now, guys. That's all I got so far today. Just those those two items is the other glove. And I want to do a comparison with the RB10s and... Um, and these so all right we'll see you guys next time catch you later enrico suave just catch me on instagram or whatever enrico tecker on there and uh you know because i'll be posting pictures of all this kind of stuff so catch you guys later see you next time and yeah i'm gonna come up with something that pretty soon i'm gonna drop a video of all the stuff i want to get rid of or whatever man so no problem